hello everyone welcome to my channel code view and talk before i start my video if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it so today i am going to share one of my interview experiences and the questions which was asked in the region technology so let's start the video where i'll be sharing question first which was asked in the coding round and then the technical round so the first question which was asked in the coding round was this on my slide so i'll just read the question so you are at a shooting range and you have n targets level 1 to n from left to right and hit the target by performing the following operation so in each round starting from first target and moving from left to right hit every alternate target repeat the above step until one target is left and you will get i points when you hit a target labeled i and calculate the score you will obtain by continuously hitting targets until there is only one target is remaining so for this question we have to write the optimized code in java so this so this was the first coding question which was asked and next question was this where this is also a coding questions where the question says that an unequal equal is a data encryption technique in which one divides the segment of length n into four segments of integer length such that two segments should be of equal length and other two segments are also of equal length also all four segments should not be of the same size you are given integer n count the number of ways to form unequal equals n represents length of the segment so for this you have to write the optimized code in java so this was the second question so there were two coding questions so first was which i discussed in the previous slide and second was this the next question which was asked as a part of the coding run was this question which was related to spring boot so so third question was on the spring boot so third question says that Nikhil is working on a Spring data application and there is two database named MyDB with two tables, customers and orders. Tables customer has four column, customer ID name, data and address and table orders have five columns, order ID, name, data, address, customer ID. So in this schema, customer ID and order ID are primary key and, and customer ID in order is a foreign key referencing customer ID in customers each customer id in customer can have multiple row in orders so based on this understanding you have to answer the following questions so first question is does the customer id in the order table allow only unique values and the second question is does the customer id in the customer table allow null values give answer in the true false for the above two questions so based on the above questions you have to see that whether these two questions are true or false so to answer these questions you have to be very clear on the concept so that you can answer based on the your understanding and the fourth question was related to the database where you are given a table details and then you have to write query to perform the result so the question is you are given a table of products that provide details of the products including their ids names categories and cost and what was the task the task is write the sql query to fetch the name cost categories of the products whose cost is minimum in their respective categories then sort the output in increasing order of cost and then in reverse alphabetical order of the product so this was the database questions and next question was where a code snippet was given and you have to say that what will be the output for this so here you have given a class called test and then you have two method one is method one another is method two so method one is a static method and method two is a non-static method and in the driving code which is main class where you are calling method 1 and then you are creating a new thread 
object so you have to guess that what will be the output of this code snippet whether this code will execute properly or it will print that uh, system what in the method one and what will happen so you have to give this output of the following code so this was the fifth question and these were the fifth question which was asked in the coding round and the next i'll share what was the question that was asked in the technical round so from here i'll start the question which was asked in the technical round so technical round was again related to the uh, co one coding problem and few output based questions so the first the first question which was asked in the technical round was this platform required at a train station so given an array of train arrival and departure timing at a railway station and you have to calculate the number of platforms required to manage all the trains arrival and departure so you are given a array which contains that timing of arrival and departure of a train at a railway station and with that you have to find that number of platform required to manage all the trains arrival and departures so this was the coding question that you have to write the solution in whatever language you know uh, so it's up to you so in the example you can see that train timings is given in the first example where it is the answer is one and in the second example the answer is two so because first and second train overlap times of a stay at a station so the station need two platforms so this was the questions which was asked the next question which was asked in the technical round was you are given a code snippet and you have to say that what will be the output of this so here you, you here you here it is given a parent class and a child class which extend parent class so you have to see the code properly to answer this question because these are not the direct uh, questions you have to think a little bit and you have to be very clear about the concept here the concept uh, which includes is the inheritance so you have to be very clear on the inher inheritance concept so that you can answer this type of question properly so you need a little bit of thinking about this question before you answer so here you see you are given a class parent and then you have a parent uh, default constructor then you have a parent class parameterized constructor then similarly you have a child class which extend parents have a default constructor and then you have a child parameterized constructor and here is the output here is the code which says that what will be the output for the AWEB program so we are creating a object of a child class so when we create a object of a child class what will be the output so you have to say that how this class will execute basically then question 3 was again a code snippet and you have to say that what will be the output of this program so there is a movie class which implements comparable interface then you have few member variable like rating name year and then you have a movie class constructor where you then you have a movie class constructor where you are initializing the field name and then you you have compare method where you are comparing on the year then you have getters now you have to find that what will be the output considering previous slide class so here you are making a movie list where you are adding few movie in that list and then you are just printing that movie list so you have to say that what will be the output when you print this and then the last question which was asked was you have to sort this movie list based on the rating so these are the questions which was asked in the technical round and these questions will not be directly answerable 
so to answer this type of questions you have to be very clear on the concept like what is comparable interface and what is tree set like how when we add data to the tree set how it works internally what is the property of the tree set so all these concept you have to be very clear in order to answer this type of questions so these were the questions which was asked in coding and technical interview in vision technology so guys if you are preparing for vision technology you can expect question like this so that you should be able to answer the question in your interview so i hope that you will get some help when you prepare for interview for vision technology so if you like this video please like and comment thank you for watching i will see you in the next video